my heathens. So today um, we are going to be discussing which of the March 2019 boxes wins. So I have my handy, handy, landy, handy dandy little notebook that I've been keeping track of everything in and kind of writing down my thoughts. Um, so it occurred to me as I was kind of looking over everything and composing my thoughts that I did not upload the ear fleek for March, which was this, it's little black and gold, um, dangly, black and gold dangly earrings. They come in the little, um, you know, plastic rubbery thing that holds them together. Um, they're pretty cute. My only complaint about them was that they were gold. I'm not crazy about gold jewelry. My earrings right now are kind of like a pinky rose gold. Um, and I believe the backs are gold. No, the backs are silver. Anyway, I typically stray away from gold jewelry, but there are a few exceptions. I think these are like my style enough to where I'll still wear them. I just have to find the right time to switch out of these. So that was Ear Fleek. So I do feel kind of unfair comparing Ear Fleek to the rest of them anyway, because I feel like since with Ear Fleek, you're only getting one product regardless, it's kind of unfair to compare it to other like jewelry, not jewelry, beauty subscriptions where you're getting multiple different products. But anyway, so with Ipsy, I'm just going to go down and I'm going to give like my favorite items from each and then I'll talk about my winner. So from Ipsy, uh, it's really hard to pick a favorite item from this just because everything in it was actually pretty great. The only thing that I have not extensively tried was the Disco Kitten I Do Care face mask. Um and the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, but it smells absolutely phenomenal. Um, the Tarte Maneater Mascara, which was spoiled for me, is probably one of my favorite items. I wasn't crazy about it at first, but I actually really like it. So I don't know what changed or what during my initial opinion was kind of warped. Um, so that and the Ofra Highlighter, I'm trying not to count the Ofra highlighter though because it was an add-on of my choice. So I feel a little biased saying that it was my favorite item because it wasn't something that they chose to send to me. Then moving into BoxyCharm. Uh, I guess my favorite was the brushes, the Moda brushes. I have been using this one on and off for highlight. It applies a really faint amount. So if you're using a highlighter that's normally, at least for me, that's normally pretty overpowering, um, this one picks up enough to give it like a faint, just dust of color. Um, otherwise, I wasn't terribly impressed with BoxyCharm this month, which is sad because they won last month. Um, the, I don't think it's still in here. But the Wander Beauty Peel Off Mask is really nice. Um, so it's, I guess, my favorite item other than that brush. So, on to Yes Oh Yes. This month was actually pretty good. Um, I really like the Mirabella Eye Crayon. And I actually really like this uh, Myra Lush Matte Lip Cream. Um, as you see, this was really easy for me to grab. I've been using it quite a bit. Um, on to Allure. I guess that my favorite thing of this, which I do have in here, was the Juice Beauty uh, Green Apple Cleanser. Um, I also wasn't too impressed with Allure this month because uh, I got another sheet mask, which I got one the previous month as well, and I got the exact same toner, like exact same. So if it was a product that I had been crazy about, I guess I wouldn't mind getting a repeat, but I really didn't like the smell, so. And then 
the new subscription box from March, which was Medusa's makeup. So this is probably as of right now my favorite item from that, which is the um, Witch Lash Mascara. Um, I've been using this pretty regularly too. It doesn't give you like some of the crazy va va voom that other mascaras do. It is a very natural looking mascara. But like for work days when you just want to throw on a little bit of highlight, maybe a little gloss and a little mascara, um, it's really good for that. So, surprisingly, I think this month's winner is going to have to be Ipsy because normally there's like at least one product that I'm kind of like not unhappy with, but I'm kind of like, eh, could take it or leave it. This month was just incredible. Even taking my add-ins out of the equation, the only thing that I have not used, um, I haven't used the Disco Kitten mask a lot, but the only thing I haven't used at all is the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm, and that's because I already have, like, a bigger, because this is, like, a little sample size. I have like a travel size that I got from BoxyCharm and I love that stuff. It's absolutely amazing. So if I don't put that into the giveaway, I know that it's something that I'll use regularly and that I'll get use of and that I will thoroughly enjoy. Um, the mascara is great. The two eyeshadows are incredible. I actually went and bought um, Ipsy had an offer right after that box came out <laughs> where you could get the whole set. So I did. That's how much I liked the eyeshadows. <laughs> um, then, and one of those was an add-on, the eyeshadow, but the other one was not. The Ciate London Lip Luster, at first I was kind of like, uh, you know, it's just a gloss, but it gives just the nicest little shimmer because it does have like little iridescent shimmery pieces but they're so I don't want to say underplayed but it's just so faint it's not like for anyone who's ever used the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers these are literally just glitter I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera but these are insanely sparkly and I have a few of these I don't know <clears throat> you want to come up here come here stop being mad I don't know how well it's gonna pick up say hello say yeah we liked Ipsy the best yeah, yeah, yeah. you he just dropped his whole body <laughs> um the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers are insanely glittery, um, sparkly, shiny, iridescent, whatever. Whereas the Lip Luster, which is actually in my bathroom because I've been using it in the mornings when I don't want to put on like a heavy lip product, it, it doesn't get sticky, it lasts, it doesn't get that weird like white inner rim that some lip glosses will produce. Um, I mean, I don't know that it's worth the price full size, but it's it's a great lip gloss, so I have no real complaints. And then the last item that was just in the bag was the Disco Kitten um, I Do Care mask, which is fun, it's iridescent, and it's a mask. I love masks. So, this, I don't know what just happened there. This month's winner is Ipsy. How, come on, come on, how the main sample bag beat out like full size products, I don't know, luck of the draw, luck of the Irish because it was March, um, I don't know, but they did great, I'm really hoping that they do as well for April, and I'm hoping that the other boxes, uh, Boxy Charm and Allure, cough, cough, um, kind of step it up a little bit because they, they got outshined. 
yeah so let me know what y'all thought down below do you agree do you think that one of the other ones should have won box of the month and if so let me know why and if you get more than one which one was your favorite and what did you <laughs> what did you get and uh <laughs> i don't know what he's doing <laughs> he's just in the chair behind me we will see y'all next time bye